If you're new to my channel, subscribe if you like this sort of content. If you do, obviously watch a little bit of it or watch all of it and then don't forget to like it and then obviously dislike if you don't like it and then obviously leave a comment down below and tell me what your actions are and your actions are like with your comments of your speech and like, oh, I don't know why you done it this way because I wouldn't have done it this way or yeah, I like the video and it's good and I'm sharing it to loads of them. You get the idea. So let's get on with the video. Cool, thanks. see that the Shiba RC100 is an absolute beast. It's basically equivalent of three SSDs and and some more. And basically this is the 240 gigabyte version I've got here um, which Toshiba sent over two versions. But I just wanted to see if there's a, a difference of speed and spec but it depends on what system's running in the background and it gets a little bit complicated after that. So I'm just gonna make this very simple and plain. Uh, if you're looking for an NVMe and you only wanna pay about 60 something pound, then go with this, because this feels like the same speed spec of uh, the, what have I got? A Samsung 970 Pro in there, which is a top of the range 
NVMe SSD that you can get at the moment, and uh, even against uh, Intel Op Optron, um, it does smash everything. But when I was doing like big normal files, so real life results with one gigabyte, it was just like so quick it was like an old school usb that you're connecting in and you're waiting for one megabyte to drop on there and it's done it was even faster than that then i put 3.4 gigabytes in and it just went just edit so i had to go and find something a little bit bigger so i went with 13 gigabytes and it took less than 10 seconds to drag and drop from one nvme to another now going from one nvme like backwards and forwards from toshiba to the samsung to samsung to back didn't see much of a difference in real world scenarios but it did eat a lot of information really quickly and it was a mixture of loads of little small very kilobyte files megabyte files and gigabyte files it's a mixture of everything to make it complex of dragging and dropping and uh, the information to write and read at the same time really fast it says that i couldn't really get this ssd utilities right uh, work properly i'm guessing it's because I should have ripped the um, Windows software straight onto the NVMe, but I didn't. I just basically had it in there and I've done it as a storage update. Um, so you can just literally go into Windows and just to create um, a storage pool and do it that way. And I didn't bother doing RAID 0 because RAID 0 still wouldn't have been as fast as the Samsung 970 Pro. But the 970 Pro was on different prices that I got it for and even the price of equivalent of having that in that many NVMEs. So you would need uh, to, you need about four to have this sort of, well, even, hang on, if I had two, what was it? It was a uh, 1000 and something speed. So I would need three NVMEs, hmm. but a terabyte version to be able to get that speed. So technically it would cost more money, but not lots of money, but it would cost more money. So these are like 60 odd pound. So if I check on here, so 6160 that you can buy this for, then obviously you're getting, paying for delivery on top of that. But if you can go to the shop straight away, 6160, that's nothing for a 240. So this is the most budget NVMe and smallest NVMe I've ever seen. And the temperature's not too bad. So we're looking at 48 between 48 and 50, reading and writes backwards and forwards. I couldn't get it to work too well, the software, but I have before and I know it does work pretty well. So we just use obviously crystal disc to run it backwards and forwards. I did check the temperatures and I just checked the card as well. So this card comes um, with the actual motherboard set up. So if you go with the MSI Godlike motherboard, one that costs 600 pound, you get like um, that card and obviously a game capture card and stuff like that. But that game capture, uh, not the game capture card, that uh, RAID card, you can put both NVMEs on there and it fits all of the sizes and it fit that and it was really small and I've got one side of uh, thermal pads not like if I put it into the motherboard I would have got thermal pad underneath and at the top so technically I might be able to gain more performance obviously if it's cooler so that's pretty cool that is really good so for any gamer definitely get this if any video production or artist or illustration photography and render speed get this this is the most budget nvme ever for that price and the speed alone is really decent so yes if i put it in raid zero i would have the equivalent near enough the equivalent but it doesn't see too much in real world results it's not a massive performance what i was doing is doing watching a feeling of an nvme which is a toshiba Go in and drop in and drag in and drop into uh, the Samsung and then the Samsung drag in back. And it wasn't any difference in speed that I could feel. I obviously felt like the NVMe from the Samsung was pushing a lot more f uh, faster, but it is the fastest, but it's also the most expensive. And uh, the health from this is okay, but Toshiba gave it to me and I don't know where it's been so far. So normally it should be like 100% health or 99% health, whatever, but at the moment that is that's that's pretty decent so if you're going to buy this make sure your health is higher than my health and then you'll be okay with it but other than that yeah it works really up well in the pizza express um but i don't know what gen it is it's probably like gen 20 or something but yeah it's running on z3 um 90 motherboard so it's going to be the fastest pci bus that you can get and um, yeah, it just literally just went straight through it. I don't know what the speeds would be like, 
technically going from NVMe to normal passport mechanical hard drive or uh, 2.5 inch mechanical hard drive or just a normal SATA um, 6 gigabyte transfer bus speed version or even just like a normal 72,000 or 54,000 RPM speed mechanical hard drive. Um, I won't know and I don't really care because technically those drives are so bog damn cheap. It's good that you can make a very cheap computer out of it, still use those uh, mechanical hard drives for storage and then use it as a later date, but you really need speed because it seems like we've got no bottleneck at the moment. We've got it straight through the bus of PCI Express. And to be honest with you, I don't even know. Right, so I didn't even check, but I think, yeah, so this must be 16 times bus. So obviously if you've got like a slot and you need to put your NVMEs in, if you put in eight times or four times, then obviously it's gonna be really slow. Or not the speculation that it's meant to be, but so far it says up to 1600. Whereas where I was looking at SSDs and it was uh, around for ages, it was like, yeah, up to, but it always suppressed it. Now this suppressed it in some uh, benchmarks that I was doing, but other than that, it's really decent. I cannot, not so much, no, I can't uh, heavily tell you so much to get this NVMe, it is definitely worth it. If you've got the option to be able to have NVMe on your motherboard or even on the PCI bus speed, um, or 16 times bus speed slot, go with it because it will really, really make a difference to your computer. And also it works with a laptop because it's small enough to go in there. So desktop and laptop, so it's cross platform. But anyway, I hope there's enough information about this SSD. Um, I think they come in 480s as well. But anyway, subscribe, share, and like this video and let other people know. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Roger and out.